black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. So I had a filthy McCrave, as you can tell in front of you today, for a very strange reason. I'll share with you that reason, but also this is another reason. We'll talk about that reason, but uh, there's a lot of reasons to talk about. Anyways, medium fry, cold as shit. It was, it was not good at McDonald's. The scene was bad, very hectic. It seemed like, you know, things were crumbling and not doing well. Anyways, this is a new sandwich called the McCrispy. And then, of course, we have a standard Big Mac, and there's a reason why I got the Big Mac, and that's because of Piers Morgan, but we'll talk about that shortly. Here we have a Diet Coke, which I'll put off to the side. And then, of course, you guys know I always roll with sauces aplenty. So I have so I have two sweet and sour and a barbecue today. I have an ice machine in the back making all kinds of sounds. Sounds like a regurgitating bird. <laughs> Probably not the best thing to talk about while we're about to eat but while my ice maker regurgitates ice let's uh have a initial kind of cold fry dip in the barbecue sauce the classic one not their new one this is the classic one nine beeps let's go three four five six seven eight Eight beeps. Maybe I counted wrong all these <laughs> all this time. Anyhow. I was scrolling around on Facebook earlier and there's this clip with Piers Morgan, who I think is a a twit and a twat myself. I don't really like Piers Morgan at all be honest with you but he had a vegan on spouting off her vegan case which that's all well and good eat what you want to eat um, I don't feel anyways about it you want to eat meat eat meat you don't want to eat meat you don't eat meat You do what pleases you, okay? But anyways, in typical Piers Morgan form, he basically just went into a rant on this woman. Uh, hardly let her get a word in edgewise. And then his producers, at the very end of the inter interview... And this is pretty, it's a dick move, but they brought him in a bag of McDonald's, a Big Mac meal, which he proceeded to crush in front of the vegan woman that he was interviewing. So very petty, very childish on Piers Morgan's part, for sure. That being said, made me crave a Big Mac. And uh, I just was thinking about it all day. So I pulled the trigger. So I went ahead and pulled the trigger because once you have the crave in the mind, you're a slave to the crave, right? At least I am. But also, These are two new sandwiches. Limited time right now in McDonald's, at McDonald's. There's another one with bacon and tomato. But they're called the McCrispy. So, in Canada we have the Junior Chicken. Which was like kind of the dollar menu shit. Even though it's not a dollar, but it's like, you know, the snacks menu. And then we have the McChicken. Then they have like the fancy deluxe crispy chicken. And then now they have this new kind of a bit smaller 
rendition but on like a brioche bun or potato bun or something like that called a mick crispy so very standard just lettuce mayo and uh, a crispy patty maybe i'll get this out of here but i've been seeing it around for like a week now and i was like yeah, i'll give it a try Hmm. All right. It tastes like a McChicken, although a McChicken's patty has, it's more like soft and tender, like it falls apart in the bite. This has more of a substantial bite to it. But basically tastes like a chicken. Just on a fancy bun, on a brioche bun. Five ninety-nine for the sandwich alone. Something like eleven seventy-nine for the meal. A Big Mac meal nowadays is fifteen dollars. That, my friends, is insanity peppers in my opinion. All right, let's try it with barbecue sauce. Barbecue chicken sandwich or a sweet and sour chicken sandwich. Mainly because they didn't put enough mayo on. It's a pretty firm patty, but I will say the sweet and sour definitely works better. Over the barbecue. Come on. <laughs> Nothing amazing. Nothing to write home about. I couldn't see people going crazy for them. And keeping them. I feel like after the limited run, they'll be gone forever. <laughs> Shout out if you know what it's from. All right. Now this Mac attack looks like a sloppy endeavor. I'll be honest with you. It looks like not a fantastically made one. I think in true Big Mac fashion, this is going to just slop all over me and be a rough, messy eat. I asked for extra lettuce, but I'm pretty sure. Yeah. They just extra sauce to it. She's running out the butt. Big time.
It was good though. Can't deny that. That was a saucy one. And that reminds me, I watched a Sauce Queen video one time. Uh, and y'all know I like to, uh, you know, I get down with sauce, I stay saucy. But I have my limits. And she once said in a video that when she goes and gets a Big Mac, she requests something like four to five times the extra Mac sauce. And Kristen, if you're watching this, that's too much sauce. That's some psycho shit. You would just have a a box full of pooled mac sauce and then bread and beef and things just swimming in a box of sauce. That seems crazy to me. But yeah, uh, McRick's was a mess. I think they were on shift change. Heading into the dinner rush. So I think things were getting crazy. The dude on, there's two drive through lanes. And so the one side was like being serviced. The guy in front of me went through. Then when it got to me, it was just dead quiet for like a couple minutes. And then I just said like, hello? <laughs> and there's like one sec. And that one sec turned into like more and more minutes. And then I'm getting stressed because the people behind me don't know that I'm not talking. Like you could just think I'm talking to the box like because I'm kind of leaning by the window. But like I haven't talked to anybody yet. So I'm getting stressed that they're probably getting stressed. But they don't know that I'm stressed because I haven't talked to anybody yet. And then when he came on the box, halfway through my order, he's like talking to coworkers inside, trying to like tell them what to do and stuff. So I think he just had a lot on his plate. <laughs> but it's always the the line pressure. Like I'm like I'm not trying. Like I I can't control anything here. Like I'm not being that weirdo who's asking too many questions or ordering like a crazy order or anything like that like i just haven't been no one's talking to me you know <laughs> and so like to everybody in the back you're like please don't be mad at me like <laughs> please don't start hawking don't make a scene anyways i've been wanting to try that crispy chicken sandwich for a while now also piers morgan big mac inceptioned me and uh, i'll be honest with you it was the like i had this crave and this desire but all said and done it was kind of a, a mick disappointment meal. It just wasn't, it didn't hit like how I thought it would. This sandwich absolutely is just like a five out of 10. It's just like a take it or leave it. And that was a kind of a rough Mac. I haven't had a, 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 a Mac that subpar in a while. So food nonetheless, grateful to have it in my gullet, but at the same time, not a top tier experience. You know what I'm saying? So anyways, hope you enjoyed it. Till the next one. Eat good, live well. Stay true and eat whatever you want. Meat or not meat, I don't care. <laughs>